Hello to everyone. Just uh, one second. I prepare my speech. And uh, okay, just uh, now. Okay, it's very strange, but uh, we are very happy to be here. And uh, I hope that uh, what we are saying now, it's uh, very interesting for, for you that you are connected. And uh, my name is Bruna. Uh, I am in the security suits business in 30 years because I start very young. Uh, 20 in uh, electronic uh, seals um, because effectively starting to September 11, it was uh, another point of view about the technology and also to the traditional systems. Uh, we produce in Italy, so we are manufacturing and uh, we live in the beautiful Tuscany. So um, we are very happy to be here. Okay, uh, my point of view, um, I want to start from the moment that we are living now in the present. Uh, uh, as you know, unfortunately, the economic impact of the coronavirus uh, was terrible. We are back 20 years in our economy. So it means uh, that uh, it's the right moment to invest in technology. You, it's normal to do in a bad moment, uh, because it's the technology that can improve and give uh, an eye completely different. You know that in the industry, in the tourism, in the textile, we lost a lot of business and millions of jobs. So we needed to help and repair the economic and social damage caused by the coronavirus. Uh, the world, the European Commission, uh, they have prepared a recovery plan that needed to, to find a system to emerge to this crisis. And uh, we needed to prepare again uh, the world to be more modern and uh, the new technology, the electronic gates, the automation uh, to move containers and trucks, uh, it will be basic to the recovery of economy. Because finally, uh, we cannot forget that all our things, uh, what we dress, what we eat, uh, it's moved by the transport. So it means uh, it's uh, the base uh, of the logistic chain. But uh, in this project uh, of the recovery plan, we needed to consider also the environment. So in uh, what we have seen until now, the, the fast gate, uh, what, whatever we can do, if the trucks stop less, we have less emission of carbon and the speed procedure will be absolutely helpful for everything. We, okay, last year, uh, you know, it was very difficult, uh, but uh, we are one of the fortunate companies that reach the budget. Why? Because we decided to invest in technology. We have prepared a new product, uh, new security seals with the technology. So it means uh, more product with RFID. So it means that uh, we have decided to, to use this moment to enlarge the range of the technolo technological seals. Uh, can be plastic, can be security envelopes, uh, the cover pallet, for the um, uh, transportation of the roller cage. And all this has a, a tag uh, UHF, RFID. Um, we have received a very important certification for the Tintoretto, uh, the bolt lock seal that you have seen also in the presentation of Luca. And uh, because we are, were able last year to produce uh, this piece, uh, in a recycled plastic. So we have this uh, new certification PCR that it means uh, plastic second life. So you use again the plastics and you help the environment in, uh, in this way. Tintoretto, it's, um, it's a very important step in the, in the logistic chain because uh, we have vessels that are bigger and bigger. So it means uh, that there is a study, uh, a container, it's uh, handled seven times because we move from the big arbor and after in another arbor and after need to be transshipment to arrive, for example, to the arbors in the Mediterranean Sea. 
So it means that we need to have something that is better competitive. And all the procedures uh, that we have seen until now, that need to be easier and easier because otherwise we receive a container after 40, 50, 60 days. And this is, a, it's absolutely not accepted if we want to um, move again our economy. Uh, Tintoretto uh, in this moment has one of the best RFID bottle of seal, but we are studying for the new version and uh, it will be uh, a very important uh, modification, um, but it will be presented uh, probably next year. <laughs> um, I just your attention on our on the slides because I have used an imagine from the deck of the Maersk McKinney that it's the second ship in the world to load containers, uh, more than 80,000 TUs. <laughs> And this is, you see, is the Suez uh, Canal. So uh, I, I think it's extremely important to, to invest uh, in technology. Just a few explanation about uh, the boat lock seal. Uh, when we say the three state, uh, it means uh, that uh, uh, this seal can show three phases uh, in the process of the closure of the security seal. Open it, it means that you can read, but uh, the seal said that it's open. The number, the information, but it's open. The second step, it means that it's closed. So you can see that it's closed correctly because otherwise you don't see. And the third state, it's the tampering or the cut. So it means that in the seal, it will be the registration of the opening with the date and the hour. Of course, uh, one of the questions uh, that you have done is about uh, in which way we can involve the, all the other figures in this process. It's very easy because uh, freight forwarder, shippers, everybody wants to enter in the logistic chain. It's enough to have a, a mobile reader uh, and access to the software. And of course, we can speed up uh, all, all the procedure. Okay, um, this is the aspect uh, of the RFID bottle of seal. As you can see, there is uh, uh, the lower part, uh, it's the upper part, and there is the antenna inside. With this antenna, it's possible to read the seal very far. So you have uh, the time uh, that the bar can speed up. And the other part is the normal um, bolt lock of the seal. And this is coming from the traditional. But this is, of course, it's revolutionary because when it's open, he said it's open. Because still uh, a couple of years ago, this is, was not possible. After uh, when the seal, the, the reading indicates the open state. When it's properly closed, it means it's OK. But what is very, very important is that you don't have a person that need to go close to the seal and read as it, it was done in the past years or when you have a normal terminal. Uh, it was a study in which they considered that each read that you made on the seal, you have 25% of errors. What it means, it means that the human go there and take and memory the number of the seal and go to the document to insert the probability that he wrong, it's 25%. Okay, uh, we have talking about uh, uh, the traditional companies. This is, was a point very interesting. Uh, I want to share with you what, what's happened to me in 2009 when I was to DP World in Antwerp. We are in a huge meeting. It was a full of persons. Everybody say yes, someone say no, but it was enough. One of them believe in the project. We had a lot of time to decide and to build this process, but it was enough that it was one person that believe in the technology and see how is the advantage of this project in, in front of the disadvantage. Yes, so we needed to, to invest money if you want to go to the technology, but effectively the return of this 
is uh, much more shorter than in the past. But also, I think it's the only choice that we have, because if we don't invest in the technology, we remain sure to the past. And this is, it will be not good for, for our economy, for everything and for the person. This is my point of view. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Keep safe. And if you have a question, are welcome. <laughs>